Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and today we're going to be looking at this model and we're going to be outputting it as an STL file but we're going to change some settings in there to change the resolution of the output and compare and contrast them in a 3D package like Blender to find the best output that we can get. So this is good for changing the output to allow you to 3D print at a much higher quality. And these are some of the outputs that we've got. I've changed the view mode on here so you can actually see the tessellation. And we're gonna check this in Blender to see what these output look like in an external source. So this is good for anything like 3D printing or using your model in Blender to get the best results. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to span the channel. So this is the model we're gonna export. It's an F1 wing nut. And what we're going to do is change the properties of this to see the effects on the STL file. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually come up to the view and we can come down to the draw style and select flat lines. Now at the moment, this is not really showing anything, but once we get the STL out, we'll be able to see what that looks like. Or even if we go into the mesh workbench and prepare this for STL export, then we'll be able to see it then. What we'll normally do is come up to file and go export. And first of all, we need to select an object. So we can select anything in here, whether it's pads, pockets, etc. We select the last action because we want to export out the whole file. Come to file, export, and we can automatically output this as an STL file. So this one here, this is going to be straight export. So I'm going to name this straight export so we can see the differences. So let's come out as an STL file. And if we import that back in, file import, and go back to our STL, there it is there. We can see what quality it's been exported out as. And let's just hide this attractive helix so we can see what we got. So this is it here. It looks quite nice. So let's see the differences when we actually change some of the STL settings to actually export this out, well, some of the actual export settings. To do that, we need the mesh workbench, which comes as standard with FreeCAD. So come down to mesh design, and we're just going to come in here and just hide that straight export. So that was a straight export from file, export, and we specify the file extension and we specify file type as STL mesh. Let's bring back our subtractive helix and let's try something else. Now, to convert this to a mesh, we need to select the actual object we need. So the last action, come to meshes and create mesh from shape. When we click on this, what will happen is we'll have a number of options. And we've got these two important ones, which is surface deviation and angular deviation. So if you export out from any CAD package, you'll see that we have a number of options in there. And these are them in this one. So this affects the faceting of the STL file. And it's all to do with tessellation. So you'll have options in there such as chord length, polygon count, deviation, and the tolerance for the angular deviation as well. And we see two here, the surface deviation and the angular deviation. So the lower the deviation is, the finer the tessellation is. And for the angular deviation, the output is more accurate to the original form. And that brings out the finer details. If you bring in out the finer details, you make it a more accurate mesh, and also you're adding more quality in there. Therefore, the higher the file size. So you've got this balance between file size and obviously memory consumption and the resolution of your model. High resolution means bigger file size, bigger memory usage. So as default, we have a deviation of 0.10 millimeters. I'm gonna drop this down to 0.01 millimeter. And we're gonna see the differences that makes. Let's hit okay. Now you see we have this subtractive helix meshed here. So this is the result. 
can we just transform that over? So we've got a nice quality output. And this is the original that it came from. Let's have a look at the STL output that was produced with a straightforward export. So let's bring this one in and straight away, let's hide the subtractive helix underneath. You can see the differences. We've got higher resolution just by changing that deviation. Much, much higher resolution. Let's do the same, but let's give it the defaults and compare it with the original and the one that's at 0.01 millimeter for deviation. So I'm just gonna bring back the subtractive helix, which is underneath. And we'll come up to meshes, great mesh from shape. And we need to change this because at the moment it's gone into a much lower dimension. So before it was 0 0.10 millimeters. And that was the default. So let's okay that. We can see that was much quicker to output. Let's hide that subtractive helix and hide the straight export. And you can see the differences between those. So we've got a much higher resolution on the right. And if we bring back the original, and right click transform. So this was the straight output. And put it by the side. Okay. Let's zoom in. You can see we've got some differences there as well. So this one here is the straight output. And this one is the one with a 0 0.10 millimeter deviation there. And then our higher res one to the right is here. So you can see the differences between those. And this really shows when you put it into something like Blender and see the differences in there. Let's try the angle now, the angular deviation. So we're going to just hide these and bring back that subtractive helix. Come to meshes, create mesh from shape. And we'll leave the surface deviation as it is and just drop this down. Let's say to one degree and hit OK. You can see this is taking a lot longer to output now. So we're looking at a more high resolution mesh. And there it is. So let's hide what's underneath it. So I try to helix and bring back that mesh. And we've got something that's really high in definition. Perhaps a bit too high for what it is. But we'll keep a hold of that and have a look at the file sizes and what it looks like in Blender. Let's change this one, rename it. Angular one degree. Then we've got this one. which was the deviation 010. And this one, which was deviation 001. And we've got the straight export there. So we've got three or four different models there. Now because I've moved them they will all have a different center of origin or center of rotation when I export these because I've transformed them out. So that will show up in something like Blender as well. What we'll do is we'll highlight all of these, go file, export, and that's not going to help so we need to export one by one. So that's that one's already been exported. So export this one. We export this one. There's deviation 001, save, and then this one, and save those. So it's pretty easy to actually change these in FreeCAD. Now there is another export. Let's just hide those and bring back that helix. And we'll do the same. We'll go to meshes, create mesh from shape. This time, we'll come down to the net gen. 
and we can change this one to whatever resolution we want. So let's go for very coarse and hit OK. So that one's working away at the moment and let's see what we get. So that's exported out, let's hide that original helix and let's see what we have. We have something quite different. So look at the face makeup, the tessellation in here. And it's a lot different to what we originally had with the others. So it's quite a nice effect actually. So we're gonna try this one out as well. And if we compare that with, say, the deviation 10 mil and just hide, you can see how the tessellation that makes up this looks very different to what we have with this one. So let's export this one out as well. And we'll just call this one Mesher. So looking at the files, we can see that we've got the straight export at 1.1 megabytes. Then we've got the deviation, which is set to standard 0.10 at 374.8 kilobytes, which was smaller than the straight export, which is interesting. Then we've got the deviation of 0.01 at 1.7 megabytes, so it's getting larger in size there. Then we've got the angular one degree at seven megabytes. Then we've got the measure, which is interesting because this took the longest to come out and that was at 2.2 megabytes. So that was actually smaller than the angular one degree, which took less time to come out. So it's gonna be interesting the results we get from these. So let's have a look at the results. So I'm gonna import these one by one. Import STL file, and we'll go for the straight export first. Let's import this one. So with this one, we can see that we've got, we can see the lines on this surface here. So we can see these lines and coming around, having a look at the fins, you can see the lines as well. So it's a good model, but we can see the surface artifacts in there. Let's try something else. So let's try another one, file, import, STL. And let's go for the deviation, the standard deviation, so out of the box, this one here. And it's just doing a standard output. And look at them both side by side, they're very similar. So you can see how similar those are. So this one here is the one that's got the standard deviation. And this one here is the standard STL output. So they do look, yeah, they are slightly different. So that's import another one, file, import, STL. So let's look at our deviation with 001. So this was 0 0.1. So this should be of a higher quality. And that took a little bit longer to come in there. Let's bring this around. And you can see already that we have a much tighter, cleaner surface. So that's much better. We've still got some artifacts on there, just a few lines. That's a much cleaner surface, that one. So that's changing the deviation from 0 0.10 to 0 0.01. And now we'll pull in the angle of one degree, this one here. So import. This one is obviously much higher resolution. That took a while to come in, so it's placed it over here. Let's move that. And what I'm hoping, let's bring this over. So compared to the other one, 
and compare it here, you can see how clean this is. This is really clean. So this is better than this one here, which was the deviation with 0 0.01 selected. The angle of one degree really did help. And that really cleaned up that model. Now let's have a look at the measure. Let's see what that one's like. So if I'll import STL and come down and pick the measure and import STL. And let's bring that one up. Now they're coming really quick. So I don't think it's higher resolution as the others. And straight away, you can see the surface, especially inside. Look at this surface here. We can see the tessellation in there. So a lot of tessellation in there. Got half the other model coming through that. So let's bring that up and up over that. Compared to something like this one, which was the angle of one degree, and we can see the difference. So look inside there, we can see that's much better. So there you have it. Those are the different exports that we've tried, and we can see the different results. So the best one that I would choose is this angle of one degree. So there's a nice big output with lots of information in there and a much cleaner output altogether. So I hope you found that useful and I hope to see you again in the new video. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash mang0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you again soon.